Abu Dhabi will play host to the 2019 Special Olympics Games. And to celebrate this important, momentous occasion, six artists have been commissioned to create works that celebrate and commemorate the athletes that have participated and the communities that have come together for this. One of the artists that has been commissioned is Etta Lednab, a world-renowned artist who in 2016 had an important show, her first ever in a London Institute here at the Serpentine Galleries. The artistic director of the Serpentine Galleries, Hans Ulrich Brist, who was the driving force behind the exhibition, is here to tell us more about this important artist's work and her life and the relevance of having such a key voice from the region create a work that commemorates and celebrates the athletes today. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very special moment. It's the inauguration of Etel Adnan's artwork for the Special Olympics. It marks, of course, the very first time that the Special Olympics actually happened in the Middle East and on the occasion of this uh, special event. Artists have been commissioned to create artworks, among them the legendary Etel Adnan, one of the greatest living artists and poets of the 20th and the 21st century. Etel is born in 1925 in uh, Beirut, in Lebanon, lives today in Paris and uh, spent also a lot of time in Sausalito and basically uh, has created throughout her life extraordinary range of works, including drawings, paintings, poetry. It's a bit like in superstring theory because there are so many dimensions to Etel Adnan's practice because of course She's a great poet, also playwright, uh, novelist. Books like Sid Marie Rose are among the most important, uh, basically, literary documents, we can say, about the Lebanese civil war, but at the same time, also about war in general. As Etel always says, war is a form of extinction. And of course, literature also a way of you know, protesting against this extinction, literature being a kind of a tool or a vehicle for for peace. What is very important is that besides her uh, very important literature, Etel is also uh, an extraordinary painter and uh, she particularly in the 60s, around 1964, discovered a format which are these unfoldable leporellos where she basically can combine her literature and her drawing and her painting all in one because basically these are very small works which at the same time can be very monumental and that is how I discovered her work. I came across about 10 years ago one of these Leporellos and thought it was absolutely extraordinary. That's like a whole world. And she's also a very important public artist. Her public works are important and that's of course what we celebrate here today in Abu Dhabi. It is one of her great public artworks, one of her public walls. And I think we should never forget that Etel at the very beginning of her life wanted to be an architect. Her big unrealized project is to be an architect, to build buildings, to build cities. And that of course uh, remained an unrealized project, but at the same time she gets to actually realize it through her public artwork. And when you were in, 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 the, in the 50s, 60s, in, in between Lebanon and San Francisco, did you see yourself more as a as a writer, as a poet, as a painter, or um, was, because your work has all these dimensions now, respectively, yeah, yeah. But, but in your awareness at that time, did you already see yourself to be all of these things, or was there? Yeah, I'll tell you. I was more known, I started to publish poetry, because poetry I could send in the mail. Yusuf will have translated it by one of the best young Iraqi. But, so I was known from the early 60s on by my poetry. Yeah. My first show as an artist in Lebanon happened in 1973. But by then, from 72 to 77, I lived in Lebanon. Yeah. I went to the United States only the summer, so I participated totally in whatever was going on. 
and then returned to the United States again. And there are the Mount Tamalpais started. The Mount Tamalpais had started in the U.S. I went back to it. But in Lebanon, I was a cultural editor in a French-speaking newspaper. So this is where I really entered the life of Lebanon, because I encouraged young uh, journalists, who some became writers later, like Dominique Edde, who just published a book on Syria, uh, uh, Jocelyne Saab, who had become a good movie maker. These were young people uh, that worked for my cultural pages. And I felt they were 22, 23 years old. Uh, I also had a young man who still works in newspapers. I opened up these pages to young. And uh, this is when I met Mahmoud Darwish because Mahmoud was living in Lebanon, and I used to meet him in a cafe across the street from my newspaper. My newspaper was in a place where there were two, three famous little cafes, and everything happened in that corner, in Hamra. All the writers, theater people, painters, musicians, they were all in three cafes every day. I think what is so important about Eta's work is also the inclusiveness that it includes, you know, so many different worlds, it includes so many different uh, media, it includes so many different disciplines. It's all about building bridges, and I think we live in an age where we urgently need those bridges. Here at the Serpentine Gallery in London on a survey of Ete Latnan's work, I've also edited several of her books and done exhibitions with her all over the world. But actually here at the Serpentine, we try to bring together all the dimensions of her practice. Ethel deeply believes that we need art. She believes in this idea of art being a portal, a transcendental portal. Art can uplift us. Ethel's work gives us all energy. It exudes energy. It gives us energy. It produces energy. And so, of course, it's very important that it can reach out far beyond the museum. And that's very much what these public works do. They have, they're very democratic. They're there for everyone. Everyone can see them, even people who are not necessarily you know, familiar with art. So I think it's very significant that for this special occasion of the Special Olympics in Abu Dhabi, Etel has created this wall, which is there for the event today, which is there for you all to discover, to be energized, but at the same time, which will be there for many years to come and have a sustainable presence so we can say it has only just begun. Mm -hmm.